anyone whose hair is falling out needs to make this two ingredient drink immediately. Before we start, I would like to ask you a simple question do you know what are hormone? Hormones are chemical transmitters in the body that tell cells what to do and when. Hormones are produced by the body's glands through the normal course of living and are stimulated by both internal and external influences. The real and ugly truth is that, in our toxic world, with pathogens found in everything with which we come into contact, hormone production can get out of whack. Many different things can disrupt the endocrine system, such as the chemicals that we put on our skin, breathe in the air, and eat in our food, excess stress, etc. 1. Cortisol Cortisol is the stress hormone. The experts claim that we all need some stress to keep us going and for bursts of energy when it's needed. But you should be very careful because too much cortisol raises blood sugar levels, causing weight gain, chronic fatigue, and can lead to fatty liver disease. Not enough cortisol will make you feel tired and weak with low immune system function. 2. Dehydrotestosterone, DHT. DHT or the dehydrotestosterone is an androgen a male sex hormone. Women have it too, but at much lower levels. Different androgens are responsible for males' physical characteristics, including male pattern baldness. You probably already know that the synthesized form of testosterone, too much DHT in men can cause acne, enlarged prostate, and enlarged breasts. In women, too much of this hormone can cause male pattern hair loss as well. 3. Estrogen This is a female hormone, which is present in higher levels in women than men. Estrogen is responsible for female physical growth, regulation of menses, and moderating cholesterol. Plus, it's critical for bone and organ health and affects the brain. Many environmental chemicals are xenoestrogens, synthetic estrogens, that wreak havoc on estrogen levels in both sexes. Too much estrogen in the body can cause different health problems, such as cancer decreased sex drive, low energy, poor sleep, skin conditions, reproductive damage, and obesity in females and males alike. 4. Insulin This hormone is produced by the pancreas and it regulates the blood sugar levels. High amounts of sugar causes cells to become resistant to insulin, often resulting in diabetes. Insulin imbalance affects the body's ability to regulate all the other hormones too. 5. Thyroid hormone Hormones produced by the thyroid gland control other hormones, growth, and metabolism. Low amounts of this hormone can cause weight gain, hair loss, constipation, memory loss, decreased libido, dry hair and skin, fatigue, weakness, and other symptoms. And, high amounts can cause goiter, excessive perspiration, irregular heartbeat, anxiety, irritability, and hoarseness or swelling in the neck. Stinging nettle for hormonal imbalance This amazing plant is useful for the following conditions, anemia cough diuretic eczema enlarged prostate gout hair growth lowers blood sugar lowers blood pressure and supports heart health. Muscle and joint pain osteo and rheumatoid arthritis pregnancy and breastfeeding support seasonal allergies urinary tract infection. How stinging nettle works. Here's what you need to know when there are excess hormones, especially sex hormones. Stinging nettle prevents them from sticking to proteins, inhibiting their distribution through bodily systems. The experts say that the phytochemicals found in stinging nettle inhibit. The formation of dehydrotestosterone from testosterone and its binding to hormone receptors in the organs. DHT is believed to be the primary hormone responsible for common baldness. Drinking stinging nettle tea can stop hair loss in its tracks and potentially stimulate new growth. Stinging nettle is loaded with minerals calcium, iron, magnesium, manganese, potassium, and zinc and vitamins A, B complex, and K. A potent general detoxifier, stinging nettle is also anti-inflammatory, supporting the immune system. Hormone balancing stinging nettle remedy. This is very important for you to remember, if you are pregnant, make sure you use nettle leaves and not the root, as using the root during pregnancy can spur uterine contractions. Limit how much you drink. As we've said, they affect hormones. Stinging nettle stimulates lactation, so it's great to use if you're breastfeeding. Ingredients, 1 quart of water 1 half cup dry stinging nettle leaves, the fresher the better. Directions, first, you need to bring the water to boil put nettle leaves in glass bottle or jar. Pour boiling water over leaves, close the lid tightly, and leave it for 4-10 hours at room temperature. You need to drink this tea throughout the day. Note, you can add a little honey for sweetness or coconut milk for a richer drink.